Hey everyone! So, um, these are the all three piggies um, are getting to know each other through the bars during playtime. Now, they visited through bars um, a lot uh, through Chessie's cage bars, but um, they're, um, I cut up the playpen. So, I'm just going to explain how I did this so that they're super safe. <laughs> they're both very happy. So that they're really, really safe um, and that no one's escaping. First off, I'm not leaving them alone in this. I'm monitoring them the whole time in case someone tries to, like, climb grids or something crazy. So, first off, this whole black circle is the playpen. And it's binder clipped over there. Um, and that's triple binder clipped. So, the, the girls can't just, like, push open a grid and get out. Um, and... The playtime area that Chester's in um, is actually none of it's connected. It's mainly just walls, and the grids are just blocking it off. Um, so, I mean, I guess he may possibly get out, but if he did get out, which is really slim chance, but if he was able to, um, he would just be let out into the room, which is fine, um, he, but he wouldn't be able to get to the girls. So, that's what's happening. Um, obviously, the girls are trying to get out of the playpen, and they're chewing and everything. Um, Chessie and Mara are really infatuated with each other. They seem to really like each other. Um, now, this is not, like, formal introductions. This is honestly just getting them used to each other um, before his surgery and everything, just so they can get a little used to each other so that the actual introduction isn't so crazy. Um... Um, Chester is a dominant pig, to say the least. He does what mark with his grease land, uh, whenever the girls are in fleece. So if I let the girls out in this playtime separately from him and then put him in later, um, he scent marks everywhere, um, so that it smells like him. So, that's basically just what's happening. I'm not really editing this video or anything. I just wanted to show you the first time they get to meet each other um, separated in floor time. Um, now this is not going to be like um, introductions. What I believe for introductions, um, I'm going to do the same process I did with the girls. I'm going to put them all in one plate pen with hay and veggies uh, for um, however long it takes for them to all be laying down and relaxing. Um, and once they're relaxing for about 20 minutes, then I'll put them into a completely scrubbed out, clean cage, clean fleece, ev like new fleece, everything. Um, <laughs> so as you can see, they're all pretty excited. Um, Mara and Mook, er, Mara and Chessie get along really, really well. They seem to really try to get at each other and, like, sniff each other a lot through the bars. Uh, Mookie seems to scare him a little bit. Um, I think that might just be because, um, Mookie is more dominant than Mara, believe it or not. Um, despite being my shy, quiet pig, uh, she really is more dominant. So, I think that might just intimidate Chester a bit. Um, so that's that, but I just wanted to show you guys them interacting a little bit, because it's really cute. Sorry about the lighting in here. Um, the sun hasn't even gone down yet. Hey! Hi, baby. Sun hasn't even really gone down yet, but, um, it's just the lighting's really odd in here, so. Mara's a very happy pig. Mara likes the idea of a boyfriend. <laughs> so it looks like they're all pretty excited. Um, I don't see overly, no one's rumbling. They're being really good. I'm pretty shocked. Um, I was worried when I found out that Chester is very grease gland, uh, prone to wiping everywhere, um, and things like that, but Chessie's trying to find his lady friends. Chessie, stop eating the binder clips. He says, I want my girlfriends. <laughs> no, you're still could be sexually active, which is gross. No babies. No babies. Um, yeah, I would, I don't understand why people would want to throw their male with their two females over. But, um, I was, originally what I was saying before was, I was really scared about, um, um, oh, the dynamics of the trio, when they are going to be a trio. Um, I was really worried about that, um, because Mar and Mookie have been bonded for so long, so I was wondering if Chessie would fit in. Um, but now I'm wondering if Mookie will still fit in, and <laughs> I don't really know, but I'm interested to see what's going to happen with them. 
Um, and when I found out that Chessie was really dominant, I was scared that he wouldn't get on with the girls. But then I remembered the reason why people usually put boards with girls is because they're dominant. <laughs> um, so even the most dominant boards usually go really, really well with girls. Um, it's just a natural herd type feel. So, here's Miss Mookie and Chessie. I know Mookie's really hard to see, uh, because she's so black and so dark. Um, and as you can see, Mar and Chessie have a similar body length, but he is still a bit bigger than her. Uh, he's definitely the biggest of the three. Um, definitely bigger, like, twice the size of Uki almost. Uh, but he's obviously really liking the girls. <laughs> And Mara and Chessie have very similar attitudes as well. Um, and they, they all are very similar to each other in the fact that Chessie and Mookie like to cuddle up a lot and they don't like being picked up and walked with. Uh, but um, Mara and Chessie both chew bars and squeak a lot and they're getting very antsy with each other. As you can see, Chester's like panicking that he can't get to his girls. Um, now little Miss Mookie's, I know you guys really can't see her, but she's right over there. Um, she's been bum, wiping her bum everywhere. Um, I know you probably haven't been able to see it, but she's been up to that. Um, so she's not being aggressive. I think she's just reclaiming. And Mars just in love with her new boyfriend who's making a huge ruckus. So I know this video is really long, but I just think they're being really cute together. And um, I'm really, really happy with how they're acting. So, Jesse's just eager, to be honest. Um, and the girls aren't being aggressive, and he's not. So I think he's just really likes his girlfriends. Because um, he's been wanting to get to them for a while. Hi. That was the one spot I was worried about. But, like you saw, he could only get into the room. He wouldn't... And it's not hard to catch a pig in this room. <laughs> um, there's nowhere that they can go under. But he can probably, you know, like I said, he could get out that way. And he's trying very hard to. I'll have to get some more binder, binder clips. But, um... Basically, that is the trio just visiting, uh, not formal introductions like I said, but that's just them in, um, visiting, and basically what you should do when you um, introduce pigs through the bars to get used to each other, um, you really want to make sure that the boar can't get in and you need to supervise. Um, so they all seem pretty happy. Um, Mookie's a bit grumpy, I think. Uh, <laughs> But, um, everyone else seems really happy. Mookie seems generally really well-behaved. Uh, no over-dominance behaviors or anything. Uh, so everything's going really great so far. So that's just what's been happening with everyone. Um, I'm hoping to get Chessie neutered, uh, next month or the month after. Um, hopefully next month. Um, I'm going to be bringing him, bringing him into the vet to get weighed again. Um, I think once he hits 2.8, I'm going to stop because Mars 2.6, so being 2.5 would just be ridiculous for him. So, thanks guys for watching. I know this has been a really long video, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching them interact a little bit, uh, like I have. So, thank, I, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll keep you all updated as much as I can. Um, I think next plan is going to be halls and, uh, cage building. So, um, stay tuned for that. Thanks guys. Have a great day.